Well, I started out as a mechanical engineer. Obviously, in the corporate world, to get ahead, you have to be in the management side. It was kind of, at that point, managing bodies as opposed to doing the engineering fun stuff. Life is way too short to uh, not do something you're enjoying. Our, our vineyard is in our backyard. We have 10 acres planted with grapes. It is literally 200 feet off my back porch. The day starts at, you know, 7.30 in the morning. A lot of the, the work out here is, is manual labor. When I was in the corporate world, I, I would work like, you know, 60, 70 hours a week. And you think, you know, I can't work any harder than that. Trust me, you can work a lot more hours than that. It, 100 hours is, it's kind of the rule. Mechanical engineering side was more of thinking and pointing. We're here, it's the thinking and doing. And seeing the end result that you created. I think I've always wanted to start my own business. This is being converted, it's a 52,000 square foot building. It used to have a uh, fabric manufacturing. A Chinese company came in, bought it all up, moved the majority of it to China, and left all these empty warehouses. So one of these selectmen in town wrote to everyone saying, come out to Warren and cultivate marijuana. You know, the old job was doing IT work all day, so a little different. Missed the dot-com boom, so I thought, oh, I'm not going to miss this opportunity. You know, just want to prove that you can be successful and gay and productive member of society. I, that, that, that sort of plays into the whole thing as well. This is going to work. Like I tell people, we're not losing. No, we're, we're not in this to lose. I guess my first real job for 25 years was writing software. I always liked writing software, and it paid well. But I kind of burned out on it, and I just sort of, okay, what do I do now? And I just always had this dream of teaching. That's what got me into tutoring. Meanwhile, I had always loved jazz. I'd played jazz ever since high school. It's, it's such a joy being able to do that kind of stuff, to make music that just comes right from your heart, just spontaneous. And teaching math is surprisingly similar. When you're working one-on-one -on -one with kids, it's all improvisation. I don't wish I had done it sooner. I have, I have savings. And I, you know, a lot of musicians I run into really struggle financially. And also I think it makes me appreciate it more as I'm older. In a way, I was beating my head against the wall for a long time. There was the stress, and now my work days aren't that stressful. Every day is like, oh wow, I get to do this again. And people pay me for some of this stuff. Not that much for the music. You know.